What filter have you got this camera on? Because you don't, you don't look this good in real life. <laughs> it's actually full on snowing now. It's cold. Hey everyone, me again. Welcome back to Xmelia X and another weekly vlog. It is miserable weather outside as always. It's really, really dark already. And yeah, it's just a bit depressing really. How's your week going so far? Bit of a disaster today as Toby went skidding into this side table and it knocked my new uh, Rituals rediffuser flying and it was just literally over the edge just pouring onto the floor so plus side <laughs> the house smells lovely downside half of it has gone and I'm absolutely gutted because it was such a treat to get that and yeah what are you growling at? are <laughs> you playing with your fox? Yes, you're too cute, you are forgiven, it was an accident, it's fine, but oh, mummy was very angry. I feel like I spend my entire life washing up. How can I make this much mess? There's only me. <laughs> I think I mentioned these a couple of weeks ago, but um, Love Cases sent me some new phone cases and I absolutely love this marbly one. But then the other day, this dropped through the door. They've made a little 16 day advent calendar, a bit random, <laughs> from their um, new storage unit that you can buy. So you like put it on a hanger and you can hang it up. I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I put it on the back of my door. Um, and there, yeah, it's got like, they've put little presents in each one. It's really cute, but yeah, it's pretty handy. You can kind of put um, your makeup brushes in it or uh, necklaces or anything like that. It's just a handy storage unit. I reckon you could even probably fit a pair of ballet flats in one of these. Um, but yeah, they've sent me this, but I've got to try and figure out what day can I start opening it? 16 days before Christmas. It's got to be soon. I'm going to look at the calendar. <laughs> The answer is the 9th of December, which is Saturday. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that and we'll see what's in there. Hopefully there's some more phone cases because I like their phone cases a lot. Morning everybody, my hair needs washing. This is disgusting. Um, I am having my first mince pie today. Can't believe I've waited this long to have one, but I've got some shortbread ones from Tesco. So I'm gonna tuck into those with a cup of tea. That's fine to have for breakfast, I feel, in December. I feel like that's a, a nutritious breakfast, right? It's got fruit in it, dried fruit. Definitely want to eat five a day. I'm having a right nightmare with the weekly vlog. My internet's gone down. I was, ironically, I got sent a, um, what they call, letter through the post earlier to say, hey, Amelia, if you want to upgrade and give your broadband a boost, just let us know. I just like broadband full stop, please, Virgin Media. So yeah, having a little bit of a stress. I can do a lot of stuff from my phone, um, but uploading to YouTube is not one of them. So yeah, hope you guys staying tuned, guys. I don't think it's gonna go up tonight. I think it's gonna have to be tomorrow. But yeah, that's frustrating, isn't it? Very frustrating indeed. Thanks, Virgin Media. The most boring dinner ever. It's literally a bed of spinach <laughs> with um, pasta, cream cheese, and pesto. The end. I found a um, voucher when I was cleaning out earlier for dinner, which is really great. And it was just about to go out of date because I think it was from last Christmas. Uh, but I bought myself some new cushions. So I got these ones with stags on. Cute. Little checked one. Um, and oh that plain grey one over there and then this teddy bear throw which is so soft it was only 15 quid and yeah I just these are the cushion covers so I've just um, put my, them over my old cushions basically it's a lot cheaper than buying loads of new cushions and I got the chair back off Chris it was very kind of him to let me have it back um, and I just put my kind of faux fur one that I got from Primark about two years ago on there uh, just to sort of dress it. You couldn't sit on that with that there, but it's just something to put it there. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I like it. I really like it. However, I am getting a, a new sofa. The purring's there for now because I couldn't lift it downstairs. But I'm getting a new sofa in a couple of weeks' time, which is very exciting. Um, and it's going to be a lot bigger, I think. So all of those will go properly, including those ones as well, should all go on the new sofa. But I'll tell you more about that when it happens. Good morning everybody, goodness me, it's storm central outside today, it's absolutely horrendous, like literally the rain woke me up this morning, like battering down on my window, crazy, and apparently we're scheduled a load of snow for this weekend, which sucks because it's supposed to be going out with the guys, but now I'm wondering whether we're all going to get stranded if we go out, anyway, uh, little man isn't that well actually today, I'm a little bit worried about him, oh, excuse me. Oh, his tummy has not been great for like the past week, but it's it's a thing with puppies, it happens a lot. And the vets were like, as long as he's still perky, eating and not vomiting or anything, then it should be fine. But 
<laughs> apart from the fact that he's legging it around the house now after he's just had his um, rice for breakfast. Honestly, most dogs will be gutted that they will put on uh, chicken and rice. <laughs> it's like a really plain thing that you give them to like help their digestive system. Um, but he's actually loving it. So I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about him because yesterday he was a bit lethargic. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking maybe it's probably best to, to maybe book him into the vets now, but they can't get me in until quarter past one, so I'm supposed to be seeing my friend Emily today, food blogger Emily, but uh, I had to cancel that, and to be honest, the weather's absolutely atrocious, so it's probably best for the both of us, but yeah, I'm a little bit worried about him, so I'm going to take him down just to make sure um, they don't want to do anything further. I'm going to have to collect a poo sample, which is going to be nice. Yeah, so that tail's still wagging. You look a bit skinny though, mate. Mm. So yeah, just a little bit worried about him at the moment. Anyway, first things first, cup of tea and some editing. Crack on with the day. I'm currently trying to take a load of photos for benefit, uh, for because I'm doing a takeover on their Instagram in January, which is really fun. Uh, but the weather is absolutely awful. It's so dark and I'm really, really struggling and it's frustrating me, so yeah. If you don't see me for a little while, then it's probably because I'm too busy getting angry with all my props and all my lights, because uh, it's just not working. <laughs> I've run out of milk, so I've got to go and uh, get some more soya milk. And I also have poop in my fridge. <laughs> just the normal Thursday with ex Amelia, ex and Toby. It's not my poop, just to clarify, it is the dog's. Um, yeah. How is it so dark already? <laughs> I literally just looked up from my laptop, I was like, oh, it's pitch black. <laughs> Shall we tell Grandma and Grandad that they can't have any Christmas presents because we've just had to spend £80 at the vet's on you and your poorly tummy? <sighs> it's so frustrating because I have pet insurance, obviously, um, but my excess on my pet insurance is £90 and every time we go, it just seems to be just under the excess. So, yeah, very frustrating. Very frustrating every time. It feels like we're there all the time but I spoke to the vet and I was like am I doing something wrong because he seems to be ill a lot of the time and he was like well the last time you here he ate a tea bag so that was a complete accident I was like oh yeah and then before that the last time he had a poorly tummy and had to go to the vets was in August um and it's now December so he was like that's really nothing to be concerned about because he's a puppy and a cocker spaniel and they eat everything um and their immune systems are still sort of building up so it's put my mind at rest um it just felt like we were there all the time and i think it's because my bank account was going <laughs> but no i've got um a special little toby fund that i put money into for occasions like this so it's not too bad but it's still not ideal i'd rather him not be ill and me not to have to spend horrendous amounts of money on tablets and paste and all sorts luckily for me he'll eat anything so he just eats the tablets straight away you don't have to hide them in anything and he also eats like this, this disgusting like paste stuff i remember we had to give it to wilson once well more than once actually and wilson hated it he absolutely hated it so when i got this i was like oh god toby's gonna he's, he's not gonna have this oh um. <laughs> down in one loves it so at least that makes it a lot easier to administer drugs Really, we were like, do you think it's gonna snow today? And we were like, nah, it's probably not gonna snow. Then we walked outside and we were like, actually it's quite nippy, it probably might snow. Oh wait, it's already snowing. <laughs> oh, fine. My boobs can tell when it's already raining. That was good. We made it in time for the Orient Express. Okay. There. <laughs> the bit that says ticket. Take my ticket. <laughs> Try this one. Oh, it. it's very chilly. Yeah, it was good. Can't tell you who did it though, you have to go watch it. 
Good morning everybody, it hasn't snowed that much so we're all good, it's actually blue skies to be honest but it's very very nippy so I am off <coughs> to Birmingham to hand out hot chocolates in exchange for Bumble downloads, I'm actually very excited um, and I get to meet one of you guys as well, Dan I haven't met you before, you're one of my patrons and you've been on this channel for ages watching so very excited to meet you um, and yeah just looking forward to it, got the Bumble hats on the go so we can all wrap it warm, I've also got a hot water bottle, Volterol ibuprofen, paracetamol, everything, because I know that I'm going to be buggered standing in the cold all day. Anyway, I'm going to crack on so I can miss the traffic, but yeah, wish me luck, and I, uh, I'll speak to you later. Not sure how much time I'll have to chat when I'm technically working out on the cold, freezing streets of Birmingham. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I like that bit. This is going on the vlog. Going on the vlog. Well done, guys. <laughs> it's actually full on snowing now. Hi. Dan, everybody. <laughs> hey, Nico. We had a good day. It's yeah, been good when it fun. lasted. <laughs> we got lots of downloads, which is great, and we yes. gave away lots of hot chocolate, which is also very nice. But now it's definitely time to go home before we get snowed in. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm gonna go back home to Peter. So bye, everyone. <laughs> bye. Down by W. <laughs> I'm gonna start again. I started to record this and then all hell broke loose. Um, yes, had a lovely day. Finally got back. It is pitch black now. Uh, the day has gone. Uh, but we had a great time and it was so nice to meet Dan and Nicola and we just had fun handing stuff out and giving people free hot chocolates. And it was just lovely. It was a really nice day, even when it started to snow. But I'm gonna go in the shower, warm up, because my, even my face is just cold. <laughs> and then I've got some editing to do and then I've got a friend coming around this evening for dinner uh, and some malt cider. <laughs> This is what is left of the incredible pie I just made. It's like a phyllo pastry, butternut squash, toasted uh, pine nuts, pesto, feta cheese, and spinach pie. Oh, so, so good. Demolished. Amazing. And none for Toby, sorry. Also, incredible news. You know that I dropped, well, Toby ran into my uh, Rituals diffuser and buggered it up. Yes, Christmas tunes for the mall cider. Um, he, he like literally spilled half it on the floor. Rituals have been so kind and they've given me another one and I'm the happiest girl in the world, even though I focus. I've got the Happy Buddha one, it smells incredible. So when that one's dead, I've got a brand new one. Making mulled cider, I feel very, very festive and my rose gold uh, peeler, as always. Toby, all I want for Christmas is you. He's saying that I want treats and toys. <laughs> oh my goodness, this looks so good. Needs sieving, but oh, it smells incredible. I'm gonna try it with Jameson's, a shot of Jameson's, and then a shot of brandy. Not together, but separate ones. So good. This is so good. Let me try it with Jameson's in. I think whiskey might be my favourite. Normally when we go to the German markets, I kind of go for a uh, mulled cider with a shot of brandy, but actually Jameson's is really, really nice. I look so ginger in this light, especially with my red top on. These are my new uh, PJs from Primark. Christmassy ones, they're only eight pounds. I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. Actual living proof, I am being healthy again. Hip hip parade. do not look at the bottles of wine inside in the background. <laughs> Happy Saturday everyone! So I was supposed to be going out with the guys from um, my old work today but I've just had a weather warning through from the train line to say that I may get stranded basically because I've got a couple of changes or like one change in my train to get to Derby um, and it's a really long journey anyway on the train but they've said because of the snow some trains might not be running and I don't particularly get fancy getting stranded in Derby so um, I'm going to drive which I'm gutted about because it's meant to be a beer afternoon with the guys but at least I still get to see them, have a couple, have a burger, and then just sort of chill out for a few hours. So I think that's the plan. It also means I get a little bit more time this morning. So I might take Toby out in the snow, because he's snowing. Maybe go out for a little walk, take him out in the snow, frolic a little bit, and then get ready. It looks pretty grim out there, to be honest. <laughs> really grim. But uh, got to power through, because we're rubbish in this country when it comes to snow. <laughs> and everything just shuts down. <laughs> we're not going to let it happen. Burgers and beer. Yes. I was literally living the dream because I had a few days that I hadn't opened in my advent calendars and we got a Viennese truffle which is my favourite from the Thorntons one and a little mince pie and oh I get to open my um, advent calendar from Love Cases actually today I believe number one. Oh, it's so pretty let's have a look It's a silver sparkly phone case, absolutely love it they sent me the rose gold version of this as well actually I've got so many phone cases now but look they sent me this one too so I've got the rose gold, I've now got silver, and now I've also got a gold as well. And then I've got the marble one that I've got on my phone at the moment. 
Oh, love it. Now I can match it to my outfit. That's very Christmassy. I like that. They're really good cases, guys, actually. Very, very impressed with them. Where's my phone? In my pocket. Look, this is the other one. I think I showed you either the week, the marble one. Oh, they're just like the phone cases of dreams, aren't they? I'm gonna go play in the snow. Come on, then. Let's go play in the snow. <laughs> you got your jacket on. You need a doggy scarf, I think. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Ooh, chilly feet. Making some yellow snow. <laughs> Are you eating snow? Are you eating the snow? <laughs> I am on the way to Derby, actually feeling a little bit better. I got up this morning and I felt a little bit sad and anxious about today and stuff. I don't know if it was just like the weather and the fact that I, my original plan with the trains got messed up and stuff. Um, and yeah, I was kind of like, oh, I just, I just won't go, I just won't go at all. Um, but I feel good now, I feel good. I've had my shower, I took Toby out for a lovely walk in the snow, put a bit of makeup on, don't feel like as bad looking. Um, so yeah, feeling a lot better. I'm excited, I'm excited, even though can't obviously like stay all day or drink a lot, but it'll be, um, it'll be just nice to see the guys. I know I saw Sam the other week, which by the way, you guys were loving. Sam from each other. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on some of the Yay! Hello to the internet again. They all love you for some reason. No, I don't. I didn't realise I had so many partially sighted viewers, but there you go. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> so mean. But I like, like it. Thank yeah. You. Mm. Festive jumper. Fe festive jumper. Ooh, I like it, yeah. yeah it's nice. Again, roomy. No one can see the figure. <laughs> It's saying it's recording, but I don't think it is. Hello, Amelia, in the future, looking at Sam's awful video. You look beautiful, though. Thanks. I'm half asleep because of the food. It's been for a massive poo. Oh, Amelia, yeah, that was a really long toilet break. Like 20 minutes is just a bit extreme. And I know we've eaten, but... What filter have you got this camera on? Because you don't, you don't look this good in real life. <laughs> <laughs> is that why people fancy you then? It must be, it must be. <laughs> well that was lovely, short but sweet, very nice to see the guys and we've arranged to see each other next week as well anyway so we can carry on the party then without the uh, chance of being snowed in hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to settle in for the evening I think, I'm going to put my PJs on, settle in with Tobster and just enjoy the rest of my Saturday so I'll catch you tomorrow. Morning everybody, happy Sunday. So uh, the battery's gone on my camera and I haven't charged my spare, so I'm vlogging on my phone, so apologies. Uh, but I'm out in the snow. How cute is it? Couldn't have it snowing this much and not actually come out in the snow. It feels strange though, because the only time I've ever sort of been in snow like this, apart from on the rare occasions it does snow like this in the UK, is in Finland or when I went skiing. So it just doesn't really feel like we're in, we're in England, but Toby's absolutely loving it. He's got his coat on and he just keeps eating it and rolling in it and just having a great laugh. So yeah, it feels quite nice and it's so quiet. I could just love it. Like standing here, just hearing the snow pitter pattering on your hood. And like here you're in you're like your boots crunching through the snow. I just love it. Absolutely love it. And this super dry coat is keeping me so warm. <sighs> to what do we owe this pleasure of such wonderful snowy weather? And the roads are still drivable, so that makes it better. But yeah, having a lovely day actually. I might watch the Grinch later, feeling quite festive. <laughs> Don't ruin my snow angel. <laughs> That is possibly the worst snow angel I think I've ever seen. He's chilly. <laughs> he is very, he's cold now. Yeah, Should we go inside? Yeah. You're very cute. Way up in the mountains, the high range of Pontoos, lay the small town of Ouville. The home of the Hoovilles. So, there is no place like Ouville. Serious hat hair from uh, playing around in the snow all day. No, I've had a nice relaxing Sunday actually, and Toby absolutely loves the snow, even though he's ripped his coat, his little coat, because he's going through the brambles and he managed to rip it, so that's a bit of a bugger. Um, yeah, hope you've had a lovely 
weekend week uh this is gonna be tuesday so yeah i hope your week's going so far i can't believe technically it's like christmas in like two weeks time it's ridiculous i've had to buy some presents today um so i thought oh crap i haven't got any sorry this light is so bright and i look really rough um yeah i haven't got any so i need to actually buy some so i've actually bought some today that's uh so they're on the way pretty much got the others ready to buy as well so i feel like i'm pretty on it with the uh, christmas shopping and yes oh that's a nice turkey have you got your turkey your christmas turkey thank you very much i don't need it in my face though right now <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, I, don't, I don't need this in my face. Thank you though. Um, I'm gonna leave it here for the week. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a giant thumbs up. And if you're new, click subscribe. Um, yeah, and I guess I'll see you next week. Next week is a busy one. I've got two Bumble events and lots and lots of work to do before we sort of finish off for Christmas. Yeah, very exciting. Anyway, thank you for watching as always. <laughs> And uh, we shall see you next week. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> <sighs>ones do we choose all of them is the answer ta-da we are officially christmasy